and welcome back. As you may be aware, SA Health have collected a third award in the Outstanding Citizen Care category at the prestigious World Health Organization Global Care Awards in Geneva. The awards are based on three categories of creating better patient outcome, value for investment for taxpayers and successfully deploying innovation. Never in the 100-year history of the awards has an organisation been awarded the first prize three years in a row. But SA Health have managed to pull off the trifecta, with the progressive virtual hospital initiatives successfully rolled out across South Australia and then adopted across Australia and New Zealand. Let's hear more about what led to this success. When I look back on everything, I can now share I was very sceptical at the beginning in 2019 when we embarked on this journey. I was primarily worried for the patients and whether they would be impacted in a negative way. It seemed like a big ask. It was such a large shift from the way we were doing things to the way we're doing them now. It seemed incomprehensible. Now that said, I had seen models of care in other parts of the world like Japan and Finland that have extensive virtual hospital solutions. But if someone had told me that we'd be here in 2025 in South Australia leading the world, I'd have told them they're dreaming. We have managed to find a way to keep more people at home, improve our patient outcomes in terms of health, well-being, and through the performance of a great team, better systems and processes. We've actually become more focused on the patient than we ever have been. I'm surprised and delighted as anyone there's no doubt as our population ages and we're juggling more comorbidities than ever before, we need clever, progressive solutions that get people back on their feet, surrounded by their loved ones and supported by committed healthcare professionals who have access to the latest technology and most importantly, are empowered to work as a team. I'm very proud to be part of the team who first co-designed what is now known as our first pilot in SA. It wasn't perfect, but gee, we wouldn't all be here in 2025 collecting these awards unless we took that step way back then. Yeah, poor old mum. She had a fall at home, pottering around, um, and she's got a little fluffy dog called Flossie. Flossie got between her feet and she just toppled over her. She fell and broke her wrist. Uh, she must have been knocked out for a little while and she ended up with a black eye and a broken wrist. She was in a real mess. Uh, she managed to call Triple O and she was admitted to the RA for a few hours. She was really scared they weren't going to let her go home, um, even though she said, I'm fine. And unfortunately, because I live in Sydney uh, and we don't have any direct family left in Adelaide, um, I just couldn't get back to look after her with work commitments. Um, I just couldn't do it. And the last time she was in hospital, uh, she ended up staying in there for days, so she was really concerned that she wasn't going to get home to dear old Flossie. Uh, but once they set her wrist and she was fine, they introduced her to Gail. Oh, bless Gail. She was a, not just a nurse, she was an angel. I can't explain how this made her feel. Mum felt like her community had wrapped her up and she was able to return home and see Flossie. She was so happy. Flossie was so happy to see her, and most importantly, mum could get on with her life. It was really great for all of us. This new model of care is amazing and so progressive. We just love it. It's been an amazing experience to see the change from what it was like back in 2017 to where we are today. So I've been in procurement for 10 years, so to see this change has really invigorated me. So I just couldn't have imagined the outcomes we've helped to create and how we've come together as one team. I actually feel really connected to the patient outcomes now and I can see how we've been so important in the process. I know some people might not get it, but procurement and administration really matters, especially when taxpayers' money is in your hands. Through teamwork and a common focus, we've been able to reduce unnecessary obstacles, increase our speed to get things done, and most importantly, find the best suppliers in the market at any given time. To us, patients are number one, and for the first time in my procurement career, we've worked united with the suppliers to build a great outcome. So this award is really the icing on the cake. I'm so pleased. 
an amazing story and an example of how everyday people really can make a difference when coming up with progressive ideas and initiatives. We hope the team are enjoying a great South Australian wine tonight. Now coming up, Port Power continue their 15 year long winning streak and Kanye West negotiates a new trade deal with Mars. 2025 is a year to be reckoned with.